Hello everybody, um, I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Apologies if the lighting's a bit weird, I hope it's okay. Um, I'm filming this in the evening um, and I'm about to do my first mukbang. I have already filmed uh, a similar, I filmed this video a couple of months ago and I thought it's too old now, I'm gonna refilm it. Um, when I did the other one, I ordered a Domino's. Today I haven't, I have put my own pizza in the oven, my own. Uh, this is one of the, I don't know, stuffed ones that's got like the tomato sauce in the crust, but it's a cheese pizza. I've always been quite fussy with pizza and I'm not much of like a meaty pizza person, especially because I'm not keen on like spiced beef and like barbecue flavoured stuff and that kind of thing. So this is my pizza. Um, I also have some water here. Fun, fun, fun. When I filmed um, my last week's let's chat video i had a pepsi max cherry and someone commented that they went to go get a pepsi max cherry but now i've got water let me know if you've got water with you right now <laughs> so i'm going to answer some questions while i eat my pizza um i am gonna try and edit this as little as possible so i'm sorry if you hear me munching or swallowing or i talk with like something in my mouth i don't know um, yeah, so I'm sorry if that happens. I am gonna search in my channel, because I asked for some questions months ago when I was doing, when it was like, when I was doing the weekly lockdown thing. Um, Kaylee, MC. I called them distancing diaries, didn't I? Okay, I've just found them on my video. What video was this? This was week 18. Well, I did it for 18 weeks. This was my last one. Update and catch up, distancing diaries. Cool. Right, I've got some questions here that I got asked and I thought that I would eat while I answer them. Hope that's okay. Um, I'm gonna preface this with one. There is something I always like to add to pizza. I don't add it to a Domino's, but I add it to like an oven cooked pizza. Don't judge me. Vinegar. I like to put vinegar on my pizza and I, <laughs> I like to put it on two slices at a time because if I put it on any more than that by the time I get to the other the last slices um they will be soggy on the bottom so I like to do two at a time um <laughs> and also I am not much of a mukbang watcher except I watch Trisha Paytas um and she's done a few and she like never edits any of her videos really um, and I thought that I would want to film my own one, so why not? Um, what I might do is that if you've got any questions for me, I might ask you to leave them down below. So then if I film another one or I just do like a QA, and a yeah, leave some questions for me down below if you've got any questions for me though. Um, okay, I've only got a few. I had like five comments. Um... Someone called Liz has written, if you had to choose another career for yourself, what would it be? And is it something that you think you will ever pursue? That's a good question. I've always wanted to be foster carer, but I have always wanted to have another job alongside that. I like, I like at the moment that I work with children, but I also get to train members of staff up as well. So um, I like that I kind of have influence over schools and stuff helping children but then I can also directly help children as well when I was in a school and I was just working with the children it's fine but training people gives you the chance to have more people like knowledgeable about stuff so um I've taught people how to do like uh lego based therapy and stuff like that I actually don't know what another career for myself would be I think I, it would still be like with children or to, do, or to do with children or to do with psychology. If I could redo university again, I would have taken psychology as a bachelor's and then I probably would have done like a child and family psychotherapy course, I think. This is really hot. Mm. Um, I like to think that at some point I might become a child psychologist I don't know whether that would happen or not um I don't know 
if I could have any career though that's not to do with like children and schools and education and psychology, hmm, what would I pick? Mm. Don't you hate when you eat a pizza and then the cheese comes off of the top and then you've literally just got the base left. And also my incisors don't touch. So I can't like bite it down firmly. Anyway. <laughs> um, do you know what I think would be really cool? Working in Disneyland or something like that. Um, <laughs> um, oh, or being in musical theatre. I don't think my voice is strong enough to be um, in musical theatre. Like I would wear it out so quickly. My voice gets tired really quickly. Um, but I would actually love to be in a musical. I think that would be so cool. Um, when I was picking university degrees, I was literally umming and ahhing like, am I gonna do drama or like performing arts and stuff? Or am I gonna do something to do education? And I like, it took me ages to decide. So I think that's what I would do. And I probably wouldn't pursue it, especially now, like seeing all the like hard, stuff that's going on with people who work in the entertainment industry at the moment and they're being told to like retrain and stuff like that for, for like other jobs that shouldn't put anyone off though um but i just i'm not i know i'm not good enough so <laughs> someone here has asked me what my favorite cleaning tip is um because i think i was talking about mrs hinch in this uh video i don't know what my favorite cleaning tip is to be fair let me have a think. I think it's a really basic one. <laughs> um, but if it wasn't for Mrs Hinch, I wouldn't even be using Zaflora. I didn't even know what it was, I don't think, before I'd heard of her. I was going to say before I met her, but I haven't met her. Um, my favourite one that I've probably learnt from her is to, when you've used a cloth, um, to like soak it in water and Zaflora in your sink. And like put your cloths to bed and then in the morning one your room will smell lovely because there's been some flora in it all night but then also your cloths will smell good and they will be disinfected as well so i, I do that basically every time i use a cloth <laughs> and i also like um putting some fabric softener and water in a spray bottle and spraying my sofa and curtains and my bed sheets and stuff like that to just like give them a little freshen up. I really like that tip as well. So they're my favourite cleaning things that I've learnt from Mrs Hinch. A woman called Zoe has said, I'd like you to talk about your journey with vegan food. Positives, negatives, the foods you discovered, the foods you missed and the foods that tempted you back to your usual style. So basically, <laughs> um, I, a couple of years ago, was a bit like maybe I could challenge myself to swap certain foods for other certain foods and I was just like one I'm not really that much of a milk drinker Don't, I've never really liked milk but I would buy little bits of milk for cereal porridge or to put in tea or coffee now I literally drink herbal tea and I drink black coffee <laughs> Um, but I started buying like different kinds of milks and found that oat milk was my favourite so I still buy oat milk now. Um, I made sure that my butter was always dairy free as opposed to just buying what was only like on offer for one pound um, and things like that and then I also was like why do I keep buying meat? And I was like it's because I'm used to it like if I was going to make a spaghetti bolognese I would buy real mince, beef mince and then I thought why don't I just try corn mints and see if that's okay and see whether I can make that change and that it wasn't like I ever watched a sad video and was like okay I need to change it wasn't that I th even thought about the environment and was like we need to change I just thought why have I been doing this all my life let me try and see whether I can do things differently um so I did that and then I became stricter on myself and um one thing that I really missed was milk chocolate. I decided to like try and be like proper vegan at home. The hard thing is that 
once a week before lockdown i would go on my mum's for dinner once a week i'd go on my nan's for dinner once a week i'd go on my dad's for dinner and i didn't want to tell them to make me vegan food so i would have whatever they were offering um same if like i ever got a takeaway or went out for dinner with a friend i would let that be my not cheat but you know i would buy whatever i wanted to buy sometimes i ordered vegan food out and sometimes i didn't um and so then i was just basically being vegan at home i really missed milk chocolate and i found that hard um and i tried different vegan chocolates and i haven't found one that i love except i do like dark chocolate with orange bits in but i don't like like um replacement milk chocolate you know um except i do like the sainsbury's they had raisin and like cornflake chocolate clusters which were really nice and then they also had a free from uh chocolate orange bar which i liked as well so i liked them but everything else was a bit like mm, no um and so that's what i was like for a while then um i was thinking i'm gonna have to maybe get a bit stricter and maybe just not eat at my mum's or my dad's or my nan's um and then lockdown happened <laughs> When lockdown happened, or even actually before lockdown happened, you know when everyone started panic buying because they were like, we're going to go into lockdown, blah, blah, blah. there was nothing in the shop. And I mean, nothing. And we all know that there was nothing. And so I was just buying whatever was there. Um, and I thought, I can't stick to my vegan stuff because there's no veg, really. There's none of this, none of that. And I just went round and basically whatever there was I bought, if there was... Um, only like one or two or something I didn't buy it because I, I kept thinking like what if an old man comes in after me and he really wants that thing so I just bought random stuff and I was I bought some like pasta and sauce packets um and um some other stuff um and then as we started getting more stuff in the shops my local Sainsbury's where I shop their whole veggie section was bare the whole time and there was like the frozen veggie bit and there was like nothing there and so I was just buying all sorts and then um because when we weren't going out I was buying like ready meal um Chinese stuff to like treat myself like once every one or two weeks um and that had meat in and I kind of just like lost my way like I still bought my dairy-free butter and my oat milk but I think I literally didn't care about anything else um and um yeah and then i was doing that for a good like a couple of months and it's only like recently i've started to like get a bit more back to normal um i'm eating a cheese pizza i am aware of this um <laughs> um i am still eating mostly vegan I think the things I find hard are cheese pizza. I haven't found a vegan pizza that I have liked very much. There was one by the White Rabbit, which I thought was okay, but it's still like the cheese. I haven't found vegan cheese that I like. It either doesn't melt in the oven or it just like sticks to your teeth when you eat it. And so, yeah, like, and then I feel bad at things like I'm not being a proper 100% vegan. But then I also think, think of how much less meat has been bought because of me. I don't know whether I do want to be 100% completely vegan. I think I do like the idea of being 100% veggie. Um, I just struggle with, for instance, if I was going to McDonald's, I would want a burger. So then would I let myself have one or should I try something else? I haven't tried their veggie burger. So yeah, and when I go on my mum's now, um, because my brother's kind of got on board as well, my brother stopped, he started off first not buying beef, but if someone else, like mum or dad, had bought it and cooked it, it was fine. Um, but he didn't want to buy it. Now he's got a bit more, he's got a bit stricter, and now he will eat chicken or fish if he has to um but he will not eat any other kind of meat and now that he's on board my mum I guess feels like um it's kind of worth it now because there's two of us so 
she buys a corn roast when she when she does a roast dinner so her um and her partner and my sister still eats chicken but then she will buy us the corn roast and i like that um my dad now is has realized um what meats my brother will eat if he has to and so he's doing that whenever i babysit for my sisters at my dad's house they now have vegan stuff in the freezer um for me to have my own dinner they have salad and then they have like vegan nuggets and vegan f and they're not pretend fish fingers they're like veggie fingers and when it comes to christmas though um is when for the last couple of years i have like definitely relaxed I think it is right I love pigs and blankets so much and um I never buy cocktail sausages or anything like that like any other time of the year I just love them so much I know there's vegan ones but I I'm willing to like try them but at the same time I feel like they're not going to be the same but we'll see I love them at Christmas I love to buy a camembert and dip bread into it oh my gosh so amazing um what else do I love Things like Cadbury's Roses, they're not vegan at all. They've got milk in them. And so, you know, yeah. So I'm not sure like what my next steps are. I think what I'm going to do is my brother has decided as well that after Christmas, he's going to say to family, like I'm not eating meat, like that's it. I think I'm going to do the same and say, I'm not, I'm just sorry, I'm not going to have any meat. Um, I think that's my next step after Christmas to be like, look, I'm not going to eat any meat and to challenge myself to not even eat meat. Um, if I got a takeaway or if I went to uh, a restaurant which to be fair I have been quite good at but I think I need to be stricter and see how that goes I don't see I don't think I'm ever going to be like 100% vegan but I also think like that's okay like I have made quite a big difference to how I eat anyway so yeah, I think my next thing, yeah, is to tell family members I'm not going to eat meat, sorry. And then see how that goes. And I think once I get used to, like, one stage, I'm going to then try and improve and then stick at that stage for a while and get used to it, you know? So we'll see what happens. Um, but if you have any uh, recommendations for vegan pizza, let me know. I don't like spicy stuff. Um, and a lot of vegan and veggie stuff, like, they put spice in and I'm like, oh, no. Because they, like, try and give it more flavour, I suppose um but yeah oh she's also asked me to talk about the foods i discovered oat milk i love corn vegan crispy nuggets are they called crispy or crunchy i can't remember i love um what else have i discovered that i loved um corn fishless fillets and fishless fingers I love and stuff like that but then but then I also start thinking that stuff is like has got stuff in it like preservatives I think I don't actually know and all this added stuff to keep it fresh or like so it's all right in the freezer has, hasn't it got like added stuff and then I think wouldn't it be good to just be 100% like you only eat fresh stuff and make your own I don't know so I don't know, I'm just thinking a lot about it at the moment. <laughs> Two people have asked for dating stories. And um, I have filmed a few on my like Let's Chat videos and I've got a couple more to come. So keep your, your ears, keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Couldn't think of the phrase then. Um, and then this woman called Caroline Pritchard, who I actually love. <laughs> um, she comments on a lot of my videos and also I follow her on Instagram and she always buys Jo Malone stuff and I get very jealous. She's asked a few questions. So she's asked me what are my favourite things like food and people etc. Don't we have favourite people except singer wise I love Rihanna and Jamie T and Johnny Cash and Kate Nash. Food I don't know I don't really know what my favourite food would be. I love chocolate places you want to travel to and what you want to do there this is interesting because I don't really have places that I'm like oh my gosh in my life I really want to travel to this place 
and I want to see this view and I want to like do this hike or anything like that. Imagine me hiking, it's not gonna happen, is it? But you know what I mean? I don't really have that. I have been to Vegas and loved it. So I would love to go back to Vegas because there's so much you can do in Vegas that you could have a completely different holiday. <laughs> um, and I would love to do the CSI experience, which I think is at MGM. Mm. I'd love to go to Disney World, Florida um, as an adult. I went twice as a child. I'd love to go again as an adult with no kids <laughs> and just do what I want. <laughs> Um, I like the idea of going to Japan just because I, I think all the tech savvy stuff would be quite cool. My dad has been maybe once, maybe more than once, I don't know. Um, and one of the, some toilets he went into was see-through, like the cubicles were see-through. But then when you lock the door, it changes to colour so no one can see in. I think that's amazing. And just stuff like that. I feel like there'll be so much tech around that... You'd just be like amazed. I would love to take my sister to Disneyland Paris. Um, I think maybe like a Lapland trip um, would be quite cool and like meet Father Christmas and stuff with my sister. Um, again, I just think maybe the thing, the places I want to go to are more just like experiences rather than views and treks and you know, like being in nature isn't something that I am drawn to that I would spend the money to travel I'd rather go somewhere that I know I'm probably gonna love Disney again Vegas again you know <clears throat> but I do love water does anyone else like love water whether I'm in a pool in the sea I listening to a waterfall or the waves being in the bath drinking water I just love water so much is that weird I don't know <laughs> Um, what else has she asked me? What your plans for the future are? Wow. I don't know. I really don't know. I want to foster. I don't know whether I want to get married. Um, I am unsure about children of my own, like biological children. I don't know I feel like in that respect I'm kind of like easygoing and I'm not someone who is like desperate for love I used to be oh my goodness I used to be like ridiculously insecure and desperate for love but like now in the last two years I've just been a bit more if it happens it happens but at the same time if I go my whole life with you know meeting people and breaking up and stuff and don't end up with like the love of my life like that's okay because like, I can be my love of my life and I can be a foster carer and that's all I want to achieve in life um so yeah <laughs> like if I am single and, and old like I, I will be all right um that's how I feel anyway she's also written baking videos and I did a couple of them during like lockdown didn't I I love how I'm saying during lockdown like it doesn't exist anymore she's asked me what are you most proud of which is a great question, isn't it? Um, I instantly think <laughs> about when I was little and my cousin started drowning in the swimming pool and I tried to save her. I didn't do the best job. And then her dad ended up diving in and like actually dragging her out of the pool, but I tried to keep her afloat as like best I could. Um, <laughs> uh, my mum says that's when she was most proud of me. <laughs> um, what am I proudest of? I think have being able to get this flat and like fair enough I haven't bought a place but I'm proud that I can afford this by myself you know like I'm not loaded or anything I don't have loads of spare cash I have to really watch my money um but I can afford to live somewhere by myself and be is self-sufficient the right word independent and then the last question that Caroline has asked me is what foods I crave the most. Um, what foods do I crave the most? In the week like leading up to my period, oh my god, I cannot get enough chocolate. Um, 
And it's so funny because I always forget and then I'm like, why do I keep eating so much chocolate? Like the cupboard, I'll do my weekly food shop and then two days later there's like no chocolate left. Whereas before it would have lasted me all week. And I'm like, why am I eating so much chocolate? And then I'm like, oh yeah, then my period's about to start. So I always like crave chocolate really bad then. Um, particularly like flakes and twirls and stuff because they're like all chocolate aren't they <laughs> um what else do we crave oh, i need to check to my own spit then <laughs> um i do sometimes like every i don't know month or so crave like maybe like a mcdonald's or a kfc or something um and i get a proper like craving for them whenever i get a craving for mcdonald's i get a craving for a burger um and then kfc I just get a craving for the chicken skin. Um, what else do I crave? Sometimes, so I, I eat my fruit that I normally eat. I normally eat a lot of oranges um, and mango and stuff, but sometimes I just crave like grapes. And I think it's just like the wateriness of them or like watermelon. Sometimes I really just crave stuff like that that's just light and watery. Yeah, I'd say it's probably everything that I crave. Does anyone else get really like bored of their pizza and then just pick the top bit off and like eat the cheese and then just like leave the base and the crust? I do that all the time. That's all my questions that I had to answer. When I filmed this last time it took me bloody ages. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I thought about the answers more whereas now <laughs> like I've already answered them once so I don't know. Um, but yeah. Thank you to people who like ask me questions. It's so funny, like even though it was a few months ago, like I really just wasn't expecting that anyone would, you know? Um, but it's quite nice that people actually had questions to ask me. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I think it's safe to say I'm not gonna be the next mukbang star, um, <laughs> but who knows? Now I'm just picking the cheese off. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you've got any other kind of questions for me. Don't know if I'll do a mukbang. Might just do a Q&A. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, my camera is flashing that my battery is going to die. Um, and yeah, let me know what you thought of this video. I think I just said that. I actually can't remember. But I hope you did enjoy it. Um, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next week in my next one. Bye.